everyone and welcome back to airplane mode today you guys yep <laughs> we're back and it is officially 2019 actually it was technically hang on let me check the date yeah the 18th so it was technically 18 days ago and i don't think i posted since then no the last time i posted was on the 23rd when i posted that little update i did get my computer fixed obviously which is why i'm back with a brand new video and normally i would be starting off the new year with a brand new channel um, trailer which I am working on currently however I just decided that it's been really really quite a while and I mean we just hit 400 subscribers like that's just beyond crazy to me you guys I mean at first I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna get like a thousand subscribers in like a week but then it's like yeah no that's not how YouTube works and eventually once I started understanding you know that it takes a long time to get subscribers I started thinking yeah I mean I feel like I'm just gonna get like you know maybe a hundred maybe 200 subscribers but I mean, where we are now, it's it's really just beyond amazing, and I really couldn't do it without you guys. I know it's kind of a cli uh, cliche way of saying it, but it's honestly super, super true, and without you guys being able to subscribe to my channel, then, um, I mean, again, we would not be where we are. So I want to thank you guys all so, so much for that, but with that, guys, we are back, obviously, once again, for like the millionth time with a brand new video, and today I will be teaching you guys how to install the Terrain Radar plugin. Now... The only reason why I'm making this video is because I remember I always had issues trying to install it because, like, I thought you had to, like, put it into the airplane folder, a whole bunch of things like that, and no, that's not how it works, and I will go into a little bit more detail, but it is super, super simple. So, if you want to learn how to install this amazing plugin, you have seen me use it definitely before in videos, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so you're going to want to start off by going to the forums on X-Plane. I will put a link in the description here. We'll, we'll do this again. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And now I'll put it in the description for you guys so that you can easily access this without having to type in the entire, um, what's it, the entire link, whatever. But you can also find it just by typing in Terrain Radar for X-Plane 11. But with that, you guys, I mean, you can go ahead and take a peek at, <sighs> I promise I will never say that again. You can take a look at all the, um, all the different pictures that they have. It is really, really an amazing plugin and... I will go ahead and go into a little bit more detail about it once we actually install it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit download, and it's going to give you a few little files right there. I always just do the one that's bigger um, because I want to make sure that it is the right one. I do the same thing in scenery because I'm sure it's the most detailed, and my computer can handle that. If yours can, I would definitely recommend getting a lower version. So, like, if we were to go to download here, get definitely get something like that so that it might help your system or your X-Plane run a little bit smoother. But... Basically, once that is installed, we're just going to go ahead and click that little button up there, drag that, oh, okay, thanks, um, right there, and we're going to just go ahead and drag that out into the desktop. Yep, that's it. We're done with that. So, we're just going to go ahead and drag that next to the x folder, just so that it's easily accessible. Oh, that was kind of odd. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start things off by extracting everything that is in this folder. So, obviously, we're in the zip now, so we're just going to go ahead and remove the actual like extracted version so once we did that we're pretty much done there we're just going to go ahead and delete that and there we go train radar is now extracted and ready to be installed so we're going to go ahead and open up x-plane 11 right there uh the thing is i would put this on my other monitor but i need you guys to be able to see anyway so we're just going to drag that into the top corner drag this guy back to where it belongs up there and make this guy a little bit bigger so you can see there we go what's actually going on so Obviously, we are just in our X-Plane root folder, so, or not really the root folder, but the X-Plane folder, and so what you're going to want to do is navigate to resources, and then right here to plugins. This is where I have all my plugins. Guys, I will be doing, this was my idea, and I will be doing a tutorial for all of the different plugins that I have, so for AutoGate, and you can find all of these tutorials online. I'm sure there are going to be much better than what I would ever make, but hopefully I might be able to help you guys out because I know I had a, f a little bit of trouble installing some of these plugins, like this guy right there, and that guy right there. So, I will definitely be doing that. But, instead of procrastinating, we're just going to go ahead and do what I said I was going to do in this tutorial, which is teach you guys how to install this. So, we're going to drag the folder Terrain Writer into the um, plugins folder right there, and that's it. It's installed. We're just going to go ahead and move that up there. So, we're just going to X out. Don't worry, this is not an important step whatsoever. You don't need to do that. Uh, plugins right there and there it is terrain radar right there that's literally it so what i thought is that you would have to like copy and paste it then go like into aircraft and then or laminar research where i have my zibbo double click go to plugins all that and paste it right there no you do not have to do that you guys once you get it to 
the plugins folder that's literally all you have to do trust me lots of trial and error but this is definitely what works works so once you have done that it's basically installed we're gonna have to configure a few things once we get into the plane to you know um kind of feed your whatever your preferences are but that's the basis of the plugin install so we're gonna go ahead x out of that and i will be opening up x plane i will see you guys very soon when it is actually loaded and ready to go all right you guys now that we are currently aboard the zip 737 i'm gonna go ahead and explain a little bit about the terrain radar and a few of the options that you can configure as well as little settings that you can do to make it run as whatever to your preferences um so pretty much to start things off you're just gonna press this little t-e-r-r -R, which stands for terrain button right there and you're gonna see your terrain um you know kind of filling in there which is super super amazing to me that's basically the plugin now i'm just letting you guys know something is a little bit off on this installation that i just did normally it does like a little tester and it makes it look like realistic there's like little squares that has like red some green some whatever um a different shades of green a little yellow so that if that shows up on yours that is totally totally normal that's what should be ha that's what should be happening to mine but it's not so whatever we're just going to go ahead and make do with this because regardless it is still working and it will be working perfectly hopefully throughout the remainder of the video so now that you have it on that's pretty much it if you're in the boeing the grain these little grainy things is actually what they have in the real boeing aircraft so this is definitely what i recommend for if you are in the zibo or any um any of the 737 series that this plugin installs to it does let me just put that there um it does not work for this side so you'll see that whoa so it does work oh wow okay that's a new update so i did not know that please don't dislike the video because i was unprepared a little bit but it works that's super super cool it was not working last time i checked which is like like a few days ago so that's very very nice so it works for both of them now that that's updated definitely makes it a lot more realistic but with that we're just going to go ahead and move on to plugins train radar right here so these are all the plugins i have i just got a comment earlier this morning um asking what my plugins were these are all the plugins. moving on so terrain radar right here show radar window that's not going to load up because you already have this guy right here but if you are in a cessna for example it might say uh, you can click that and then it will give a little box just like about here or something which isn't very realistic but it still gives you the terrain and whatnot and a whole bunch of cool things like that you can go ahead and check that out for yourself i'm just going to be sticking in the 737 because this is the airplane that i'm most familiar with especially with this plugin so that's pretty much what that guy does honeywell terrain pattern so this is pretty much so like you could do solid colors and you'll see that it's going to do something like that which is you know that's kind of a cool thing i kind of I mean, it looks nice, but I just like to keep it on the default Boeing one, which is that guy right there. You can see that it's still, it, I mean, it's doing the same same terrain pattern, just a little bit different pattern design, whatever. A320 style, you'll notice that it's just going to be kind of a little bit darker shade, which is, I mean, it kind of looks nice, very similar grain-wise to, uh, I guess not, whatever. But that's the Airbus style, as you can see there. Next one, you have the, where is it, right here, for whatever, that, that looks very similar to me to the, um, solid colors, so, um, I don't think that's really that much different, and then finally, you have five dot, whatever, oh, that looks very similar to the Airbus stuff, anyway, so, I'm just gonna put that back onto, where is it, right here, 737NG style, oh, okay, I explained, just froze for a second, back there because that is again what i'm most familiar with especially on this aircraft that didn't make any sense whatsoever scanning speed this is going to be how fast like the little thing you can kind of see you can't really see a line but you can see like in the terrain how it's moving it's going to move faster if you have it on what i just put it on so like if it's on this it's going to move a little slower if it's on this it's going to move a little faster i'm going to put it on that because that is i think what they have in boeing and that is what I've been using lately, and I think it's perfect. So, brightness, that's going to be controlling exactly how bright it is. Uh, shoot, I should have remembered what it was at. I don't remember quite. Uh, 100? No, definitely not at 100. So, we're just going to go ahead and put this guy right here on about 70. That's what, Yeah, I think that's about what it was. But, you get what I'm saying. So, that controls pretty much 
the you know brightness whatnot stuff like that window size now that is again for like the Cessna and planes that don't have a little terrain thing that you can push that pops something up like that so you know Cessna's Baron B58s King Airs whatever you get what I'm saying so this is not going to work for this but um yeah so you can change to small size or normal size I do not know why I just clicked that but uh you know what I'm saying so options here so you can show the water um which I think that's if you're close to water it will yep yeah. oh, oh 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 I see I'm going to turn that on from now cuz that is kind of cool so it's just going to show all the bodies of water that you have kind of nearby you which is definitely something cool that I just discovered now and I'm going to leave that on cuz I think that's super cool peaks mode that's for like the peaks I think and like you know like mountains like that over there um yeah I am in Burbank just saying so if you were wondering and there is scenery for this it is free on the form so um Anyway, yeah, but that's pretty much that for options, peace mode, uh, we can turn that back on. And e, uh, EGPWS alerts, yes, we want those on because that's going to say, like, terrain, terrain, pull up, you know, things like that. But then again, you also have them right here. I'm not, oh, whatever, we'll just do it. Yeah, so you have them right here. That does the same exact thing. I don't know if it's going to turn on or not. Um, is it? No, it's not turning on. Okay, whatever. So I think you have to have that other one off in order for that to work, but that's probably much better than what you have here. So I would definitely recommend that this stay off, that way you'll see exactly, there you go. And that is going to do the tester, so that's the tester type thing that I was talking about. Um, so you know, you get what I'm saying. Wow, I'm impressed, that is super super cool. Obstacle, yeah, they definitely updated this terrain radar since the last time I got it, so definitely definitely worthwhile. I would definitely recommend getting it, but options there, range arcs options. Okay, so I believe I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that that is for when you're in like the Cessna Baron B58. Once again, all like kind of like once again planes that don't have like this option right here that you could have it on like this little display. Um, it's like you would kind of want to say like like the vertical speed arrow. It will give you like a little vertical speed type arrow, kind of showing how steep you're climbing. Or uh oh, actually don't. Okay. How steep you're climbing, how not steep you're climbing, you guys get what I'm saying. So, with that, that's pretty much that. Radar, this thing is, again, for, like, Cessnas. I'm not even going to go into it, but planes that don't have this. This, you can just control based on this guy right here. And it's just going to control, yeah, see, now you have, like, all the different bodies of water. And it's just really kind of a neat feature. But, yeah, so I'm just going to leave this on at about 10, kind of where it was before. And that's Terrain Radar for you guys. Alright you guys, and with that, that is the video slash tutorial, whatever you guys want to call it. I definitely hope you found something useful. If you did, please do not hesitate to drop a like down below and hitting that big red subscribe button and turning on the little bell or clicking the little bell icon um, so you get notifications every single time I post a brand new video. Once again guys, I hope you found something useful slash helpful in this tutorial. If you did, once again, hit that like button, subscribe button, and I will see you guys all very, very soon in my next tutorial.